I'll be spending $70 to get your perfect match versus spending $20 to combine two foundations to get your perfect match. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, CC, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here on my channel, I give you guys affordable options to be your baddest bitch. Today, we are going to be talking about drugstore foundation dupes for my favorite high-end foundations. Several reasons why this is important. Foundations don't always have the best shade range. Sometimes you have a foundation that is your correct undertone, but they don't offer the foundation in your shade range, or either they offer it in your shade range, but the undertone is off. Like it's always something, you know? I find that when drugstore foundations offer a wide range, and obviously they're more affordable, it is better to the buyer because I would very much rather pay for two bottles of foundation that retail at $15 a pop so that way I can get my correct color versus spending $50 on one foundation and then having to buy another. So now I'm up $100 just to get one shade. The description box will have the time marker. So there's a specific foundation that you guys are interested in seeing if I reviewed because you use it and you would like an alternative, definitely make sure you guys are checking the description box. So that way you guys can get those products. The very first foundation on the chopping block, I have to start off with the foundation that has slowly but surely become my favorite product. Morphe Filter Effect foundation i think that it is so nice it's so radiant it always leaves my skin looking healthy and glowy this foundation actually retails for 20 dollars. you can get it from ulta or obviously from the actual morphe website or morphe store i'm in the shade d34 in the morphe filter effect foundation now there is another drugstore foundation that's even cheaper than this one that I feel also wears the same except for this foundation is actually a full coverage radiant foundation and that is the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I'm in the shade 360 Mocha and this foundation actually retails for $11.99. The foundations both last all day. Um, they photograph beautifully. Those two foundations are very similar to me as far as drugstore products. There's obviously two different price points. So if you can't, if a $20 foundation is not in your budget, even though that is considered cheap for a foundation, then you can definitely check out the Superstay foundation. Now, when it comes down to the foundation that they are up against, is none other than my girl, the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. In this foundation, I toggle between Manos, I believe that that's how you pronounce it, and New Caledonia, I believe that that's how you pronounce that as well. You don't know, I don't know what these languages are, but you know, I try to pronounce it to the best of my American ability. The NARS Natural Radiant Foundation retails for $49. And let me show y'all how much of my money's worth I try to get out of my foundations. Do y'all see that? Like this foundation is at its wits end. Like I probably wouldn't even be able to get a full, full face out of this. But when foundation costs $49, I'm gonna squeeze every single penny out of the product. I'm gonna beat the foundation down until I get every single cent out of that expensive ass foundation. Just like NARS, both of these drugstore foundations do also come from a very wide shade range as far as foundations is concerned. So you are guaranteed to find a color that matches you. When comparing these foundations, definitely I like to compare the way that they perform. Also the shade range and the options that both foundations give you, or in this case, all three foundations give you. You can spend $20 or $11.99 or you could spend $49 and have to buy multiple shades if NARS does not have a foundation that you feel suits you. So the next foundation I want to talk about is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. You guys know that when this foundation came out, I had mixed feelings about it and then I ended up loving it. Like the foundation was just doing everything that I needed it to do. It's actually the foundation that I'm currently wearing right now. Now when it comes down to a high-end product that I would 
compare this to? I would definitely have to say that it will be the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. And what's crazy is, if you guys haven't seen that review, I will link that down below in the description box as well. But my opinion on both of these foundations were the same when I first got them. These foundations get so matte and they dry down so quick. So if you are someone who does not move fast when it comes down to your product, you're probably not going to like these foundations because baby, if you don't blend quick, you're gonna have one stuck patch of foundation in your face and that's not cute. But when it comes down to foundations that you can wear during the summer and the face will not budge, this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation and this NARS Soft Matte Foundation is that girl. I do recommend using both of these foundations with a hydrating primer. Y'all know we love Milk Hydro Grip Primer on this channel. So anytime I wear those products, that is my go-to primer. There's no need for me to apply a matte primer because this product is already going to mattify me enough. It does not need any extra assistance. Both of those products are also great in a way that you don't have to necessarily use a finishing powder on them unless you want to marry all of your products together because both of these foundations actually set themselves there so damn mad. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation retails for $14.99 and then the NYX Soft Matte Foundation retails for $40. Obviously, $80 if you need to combine two products versus paying $30 and you get two foundations. It's not rocket science. So hey, this is editing playback me. I wanted to mention that I use the shade Coco currently with a little bit of mocha mixed in it. And then if I've been outside and I've been getting super tan or darker, should I say, then I'll use Deep Rich. I don't think that I mentioned it. I know that I said the name of the NARS foundation that I use, or maybe I did. Girl, if that's the case, if I didn't say the shade name of the soft matte foundation that I use, it's the same as the natural radiant i use manas or new caledonia mix both it just kind of depends on what time of the year we're in um as far as what shade that i would use so i just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that really quick so yeah back to your regularly scheduled program the next foundation that i want to talk about and compare would be the Fenty beauty pro filter foundation another soft matte foundation and then the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. That is a mouthful foundation. The Fit Me Foundation retails for about $5. Here's like $4.55. No more than $6 at most. So if I wanted to look put together and I needed something quick and I wasn't trying to like spend this $36 running through Fenty foundation like that, then the Maybelline Fit Me became a great alternative. Both of these foundations are matte. They are super liquidy, so you just want to be careful about how you pour the both of them out on your hand. Um, they can get very messy. As far as how they dry, how they perform, they're very similar within the first couple of hours, but obviously the Maybelline foundation does break down a lot quicker than the Fenty foundation. The Fenty foundation, unfortunately, it does still break down on the skin. Sorry, Ree, but like, those foundations are very similar. If I was in the middle of doing my makeup and I was running out of my Maybelline Fit Me, I could definitely grab my Fenty Beauty foundation and it would work just as good and vice versa. I am in the shade 430 and 440. I can mix those two together, sometimes 420 in the winter for the Fenty Beauty foundation. And then in the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I'm in the shade 360, the same as the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Obviously, they're the same brand, so I get the same shade in that foundation. This last one, both of these are OGs in my book. So the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, that's probably one of my most viewed videos on my channel. You guys obviously really love when I talk about Revlon Color Stay has such a wide range and they have more like most recently expand the shade range even more to give you those in between shades as well. I use the shade 410 Cappuccino and then also I use the shade Cinnamon and I believe that's shade 600. I don't know how they did the numbering because Cinnamon is literally like Cappuccino but just 
not as cool. Like that foundation compared to my MAC Studio Fix Fluid, which I use the shade NW47, these foundations are damn near neck and neck when it comes down to the coverage. Y'all know that Studio Fix Fluid is like the OG of foundations. MAC is one of the very first companies that were super inclusive when it came down to their foundation products. The Revlon Color Stay foundation reminds me a lot of the Studio Fix Fluid. Um, the way that they pump out, the coverage that they both give, like it's just amazing. The good thing about Revlon Color Stay um, that's not so much the same with the Studio Fix Fluid is the fact that the Revlon Color Stay actually comes in a matte foundation formula or combination oily is what it's called and then it also comes in like a normal to dry skin which will give you more of a luminous look with the same product. The formula is just obviously different depending on your skin type so you do have options when it comes down to the Revlon Color Stay and it's also obviously a lot more affordable. This Revlon Color Stay foundation does retail for $9.99 and y'all when I was getting ready to do this video I was pulling up the foundation prices just to make sure I wasn't telling y'all nothing wrong. Why did MAC Fix Fluid go up to $35 when it used to be $29 a bottle? I don't know what that's about. Maybe it has something to do with the pandemic, but girl, apparently Studio Fix Fluid is now $35 and not $29 no more. So y'all do with that information what y'all don't have your correct shade. When it comes down to this MAC foundation, you would now be spending $70 to get your perfect match versus spending $20 to combine two Revlon Color Stay foundations to get your perfect. I hope that this this video was super informative to you guys like I said drugstore alternatives are great especially when you're on a budget and you're trying to save money if you guys have any other drugstore favorite foundations that you would like for me to test out or any new foundations that you hear about that are on the market and they come in black girl friendly shades definitely let me know I will pick them up and test them out for you guys but until next time I love you guys so much thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye